In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up to have one phone number to be able to both call and text via AI, as well as do manual text messaging if you want to. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, previously, if you wanted to do AI voice, you would have one phone number for that, and you would want to text, you'd have another phone number for that. So now we can merge that. That is beneficial because now your leads or clients will have one phone number to deal with instead of two separate ones. And if we give them an AI call, now if they try to text to that number, it's actually gonna go to that same AI instead of um, going nowhere, okay? So there's a couple of reasons. Now, the other reason is, and you might ask yours, you might be asking like, why can I not just go ahead into in uh, Assistable here? and buy a phone number. Well, you could. Uh, if you're in the US, that's not gonna be an issue. However, you won't be able to do that calling and texting from the same phone number. Um, and also if you're international, then uh, well, this is only US numbers. So just be sure that you're aware of that, okay? Let's dive into the documentation. We have two different parts to this. First of all, it's going to be uh, getting your Go High Level set up for this because by default now they choose LC Phone as a provider for us. Then uh, it's a little bit harder for us to integrate Twilio or a different phone system, uh, but it's very doable, okay? So now what we wanna do is do that, do that initial part. But then after that, the second part is going to be to do some zip trunking and importing that into assistable. Now that sounds complicated. It's really not just copy paste. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing here. Okay. So follow along. Let's have some fun. First of all, we're going to be uh, connecting Twilio, but I want to read this beforehand. Okay. So if you have an existing account with existing phone numbers that you want to switch over, you should know that according to the GHL documentation, this transition will delete all phone numbers in that sub account. However, according to their staff and some according to some of their staff, I should say, uh, because there are some that were ignorant to this fact. And some user experience, myself and some others, A to P 10 DLC registered phone numbers port over with registration intact. And even if not, the numbers were made available to be added right again, again, right after the switch. But we take no responsibility if they are lost. Okay, so just so you know, uh, this has been my experience and the experience with some others. And uh, so just be cautious. It might be wise for you to do a, a test phone number before you do something that, you know, has a lot of uh, years of uh, is, is on all your or all your advertisements and branding and everything like that. You want to just make sure uh, maybe to test a couple numbers before you do that change. OK, let's go into Twilio. If you don't have Twilio set up yet, then go ahead and set it up now. Uh, once you have it set up, uh, it will ask you for like you should be setting up the billing. Uh, if you want to buy a phone number, you're going to need to have that set up. They do give you $20 of credit initially or 15 or something like that, but uh, you won't be able to purchase a phone number properly without that, uh, not one to connect through zip chunk. And that's my understanding. Maybe you can squeeze your way through it. I don't know. But either way, you're going to want to set it up and they're going to ask you for some ID, some different things of that nature, business information, address, credit card number, all that type of stuff. Once that's all out of the way, you should come to the screen. OK. Now let's go in. So you would have named your account something different. Most likely this is just what I did here for a quick uh, walkthrough. So we have assistable pros. What we're going to be doing is copying a couple things here. So we want to go ahead, copy account SID and the auth token. OK, I already got this. I won't do that now, so I don't display the auth token to everyone. Now let's go ahead and go to our go high level. So let's just follow along here a little bit <clears throat> in the documentation. You should find this documentation somewhere along the way uh, close to this video. So now let's navigate to our phone integrations in our agency view. Okay. And I'm just going to bold that there. So we're going to go to our agency view. You can pause if you need to, uh, or speed this up to two times the speed if you need to. Um, now let's go over to phone integrations. And as you can see here, I have two options. I have the lead connector option as well as a connected Twilio account option. Now, not all of you gonna have are going to have the bottom one. So if you don't see this, then you will need to reach out to support to go ahead and enable uh, the Twilio account. OK, and that is something I also have a bit more documentation on. If you just scroll down a bit further here. So you can find some more information about that here. They will ask for the Twilio account SID and the sub account um, 
sorry, account S ID, the auth token that we just copied. So we did that for a reason. And then we're also gonna have a sub account ID that you're gonna be needing. Uh, you can find here where to find it. So there's some information on that. Now, for those of you who do have this showing like I do, you can go ahead and update the credential. So paste your account SID in here and the auth token in here. Make sure to automatically create the sub account because that's just gonna avoid a whole lot of frustration and uh, things of that nature later on and hit authorize. Once you have this authorized, you should now be able to go to your sub account and actually uh, set up a, a separate account for each one of your sub accounts. So let's just make sure if I track over here with uh, what we're doing that I'm not missing something. Yep, we got that. Yep, we did that. So now we need to create the Twilio sub account uh, for each one of the accounts that we want to create, that we want to transition. <clears throat> okay, let's go right over there now. So in the sub account settings, go ahead and click on that on the top. You'll see there's a little button and we can just click that, boom. Guess what's going to happen now? We have it linked to a sub account. So now let's go take a look at what just happened in Twilio. All right. So in, tw in the Twilio console here, if we go over to the top, we can find our sub accounts. So let's view our sub accounts. In the sub accounts, you're going to notice now we have that account name showing up. So that is pretty cool because uh, now from here, we can go ahead and do the funds of trunking and stuff like that to uh, enable importing into assistable. And as you can see, I have two here, but that is because I did one test one beforehand. And well, now uh, I just did another one. So that is why I have two of these. And now let's just follow along the, with this over here because there was something else we needed to do. So now you should be able to, uh, you should be connected and ready to purchase the phone numbers. So let's go do that. So we're gonna go over to our sub account settings and phone numbers in, in our go high level. So let's go over to that sub account, click settings, go to phone numbers. As you can see, I have no data here. I have no phone numbers here. And with that being the case here, no problem. Let's go ahead and add phone number. We're going to just select one. I don't know why I choose my area code all the time here, but I do. <clears throat> because it's not an account I'm actually gonna be using, so. Oh, in the United States? No, they won't have it in the United States. Of course not. Close enough. Okay, so now that we have this phone number purchased, we should be ready to go. As you can see, we got the phone number. Good to go. Okay, so what have we done here just now? What we've done is we've created a way that we can basically go to the, through the same process as we could with LC phone to quickly and easily add numbers. So this means that now we can just tag this phone number and we can uh, AI message already. Okay, so that is all set up now. The thing that this allows us to do now is to go do the zip trunking, which LC phone does not allow, but we can go ahead and do that, which is a necessary part for us to be able to use that, uh, that phone number to import into assistable. All right, so that is that portion. Let's just make sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, there was one thing that I did miss. In your your um, sub account, when you went into the phone system, you might see this screen. If you see this screen, then go ahead and make sure that you uh, just double check that your Twilio account and the sub account was set up properly in the agency view. And if it is, then go ahead and just refresh, like log out of your goal high level and log back in. That tends to take care of this issue. And just that little refresh seems to do all that you need to do to have it show up as what we did beforehand.
Now, just a little screen share here, a screenshot here. If you previously had phone numbers in there, uh, like with your LC phone and you switch it over, you should see them show up something like this, where you just click add and it's gonna add them to your now Twilio sub account. Okay, so with that all being said and done, now the next step is to go do some zip trunking and importing. And the zip trunking import information is right here uh, with Jordan's documentation following up on that. And I have a video that's gonna guide you through that as well. I will link that uh, close to this video as well. So I hope that has been beneficial. Thank you so much for watching. If this is somewhere close to where there's like a thumbs up thing, go ahead and click that as well. Thank you.